inside my head just going a mile a minute. I think that's cool. This is a wonderful gift. I most like to learn what's out there if we're not alone in the universe. Everybody knows how to start a fire. It only takes a little spark. Now this isn't just a little spark that we're bringing to the school. We're bringing a, a torch. Six, five, we have three main engines up and running. Two, one, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission. It's a torch that will travel to Tennessee schools, a dream mission that will take young students on a simulated voyage into space. I'm always curious about buttons. These children will be told, do it, push it. You're in charge. In charge of a space shuttle built just for them by the Jackson Foundation in Dixon, Tennessee. The Dream Shuttle was shaped here at Spaceworks in Hutchinson, Kansas by the same designers who constructed the elaborate set pieces and props for the movie Apollo 13. They have put their hearts and souls into it. It's not just a job to them anymore. It's, it's something that they want to be involved with to change lives of children. In a matter of months, the shell of a tractor trailer rig is transformed into a space shuttle simulator 63 feet long, 28 feet tall, with over 100 times the onboard computing power of a real shuttle. This is going to change the lives of children, and it's going to change the, it's going to change the attitudes of teachers towards teaching science. I mean, the, the teachers who get this in their school and the students are going to be some of the luckiest kids. I mean, it's incredible what this is going to do. And what it will do is teach children to work in teams, to face challenges and find solutions. Each will be assigned to an important job as an onboard specialist, and they will follow the commands of two real-life astronauts. Houston, this is Dream Mission. Commander Hoot Gibson and Dr. Ray Seddon are the Dream Mission pilots who appear on a huge high-definition video screen sending orders to their student crew. Meteorologist specialist, if we're going to land, I need to know in the next 30 seconds. I'm not sure we have enough fuel to make another orbit. We want these children to come out of this mission feeling like they have saved the world. They're not going to have to go to Disneyland or to Opryland to get a world-class activity. A world-class activity is going to come right to their school. And in Steve Jacobs' world of science, he's seen it all. As the man who puts the wizardry in the TV show Mr. Wizard, he's always looking for new ideas in science exhibits around the country. He's taken what he's learned over the past 25 years to build a curriculum for the Dream Mission. This curriculum was designed, first of all, to complement the new national science standards, what's, what should be incorporated in all science curriculums across the country. With this curriculum, the students spend three weeks in the classroom planning and preparing for the shuttle's arrival. And then, then the shuttle shows up, which I'm sure is going to be a grand experience at the school. Kids are, you know, it's going to blow them away. But the mission doesn't stop when the shuttle leaves. It takes another nine weeks in the classroom for the students to put what they've learned to the test. They either learn how to observe, predict, measure, record, all the skills that every scientist in the world uses every day. From the viewpoint of educators gathered at a meeting of the National Science Teachers Association, the Dream Mission takes learning to a higher level. Just the fact that it's rocketry and it has to do with space, the kids will be all excited about it and they'll really, they'll go for it. It's engaging, it's fresh, and it's, it's active, and that's the way uh, students are learning these days. E minus 20. The countdown has begun. All systems are go for those who walk in the imagination of their hearts. This is really something. I don't know what to say. Just look out. <laughs> look out. The shuttle's coming. I hope it comes from my school because I want to do it. We don't want to lose students who had the capability of flying to the moon, you know. We want to spark them and get them looking up there at it anyway. <laughs>